Hi there, this is Steve Miley, the market chartist on behalf of forextraders.com. And we're now going to look at both the US dollar versus the Japanese yen and also the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. A mixed tone uh, for the US currency against these two um, um, these two currencies in here, the yen and the Canadian dollar. Um, we've certainly a more negative US dollar tone and a bearish outlook uh, for US dollar yen in here, whilst US dollar Canadian dollar um, remains positive since the FOMC meeting that we saw in mid-March. Let's start off here uh, with the US dollar versus Japanese yen, a significant sell-off since the FOMC meeting um, through mid-March, pushing down through this 111.58 low, also through this important low from the uh, Trumpflation rally in here, that low from mid, mid to late November. That's down at 111.32 or was down at level 111.32. And the breakdown through these supports creating this topping structure and shifting the bias for a more bearish tone going into now Q2, going into the early part of April. If we look at dollar CAD, however, um, dollar CAD, although we did get this sell off in here um, after the FOMC meeting in here, the market has tried to have a rebound effort in here since then. And we do see an underlying positive team theme really from this rally from late February. So despite the FOMC sell off in here, the market trying to recover an underlying positive tone. We still see a range theme, broader range theme, 135.98, 129.65. But if we go in here into the intraday chart within that range theme, there's the FOMC sell off. But we still see this underlying positive bias from the late February, early March. Uh, sorry, this whole rally from late February through um, early March in here. Still see underlying positive theme from that despite the mid-March sell-off um, into, um, into the early part of Q2, into early April. This has been Steve Miley, the Market Chartist, on behalf of forextraders.com, and I wish you a great trading week.